point of order. And I turned around and said, what, you guys really had to cut the mic to stop your own people? Thank you. Thank you very much. I mean, if they would just follow their own rules. I mean, they get mad at us. They say, well, the principle is, is that you have to vote for the primary winner. Now, I don't see that in the bylaws. I don't see that in the platform. But it's there. That's accepted. That's part of the, the social contract. That's an that unwritten from, principle. I don't see that from the rhinos. Yeah. Well, I say. Conservative wins. So. Well, I am now saying. Yeah, it's a never-ending I'll, story. I will follow your unwritten principle as soon as you start following all of our written ones. They kind of look at me f really, really funny. They can look at you funny for the next uh, 90 seconds or so. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. We are struggling. Rising health care costs are part of the problem. Senator Jean Shaheen helped create this mess we're in. As a state senator, her bill chased 21 insurers out of our state. It reduced our choices, raised prices for New Hampshire families, and when Jean Shaheen supported Obamacare, it limited access to 10 of our 26 hospitals, reducing our choices again. Tell Jean Shaheen she's made health care worse. She tried to make us believe she was a fiscal conservative, but State Senator Nancy Stiles has been deceiving New Hampshire taxpayers. Like a wolf in sheep's clothing, she claimed to be one of us, pretending to blend in, but all along voting like a liberal Democrat. She voted to raise your gas tax by another 23%. Taking a bigger bite out of our wallets every time we're at the pump. And oh, how she drooled at the opportunity to vote to expand Obamacare, which will result in higher taxes and longer wait times in the emergency room. And now the Senate wants to pass a bill to prevent us from criticizing Senator Stiles' vote. Call Senator Stiles at 603-918-0553 and tell her that we're on to her wolf and sheep's clothing routine. Tell her to stop pretending to be a fiscal conservative and start voting like one. Paid for by Citizens for a Strong New Hampshire. We have uh, music overlap. Look at that, I doubled it. Let's play this. <laughs> there we go. Welcome back. As I turn microphones on. Ta -ta -ta -ta. Check us out on Stitcher. Get the iHeartRadio app. Tune in. Spreaker. iTunes. YouTube. You stream. We are. You're Brandic conservative. Heart charging, gun toting, opinionated, blah de blah de blah. She laughed. I know she did. She did. She thought it was amusing. <laughs> Yeah, we're going to have this for a okay. while. So, uh, hey, my show, damn it. <laughs> he's he's taking over, guys. Tyranny. No. Well, of course, anybody yeah. who has control of the soundboard, like Matt Mowers, yeah, did. Yeah, he did, right. So, um, wait, does that mean you tell me I can just turn your mic off? And like, <laughs> Wait, here's my impression of Matt Mowers. Go ahead and talk. Well, here we go. <laughs> there you go. We had to fit that in there. All right, uh, Rick's going to be leaving his comments. I didn't want to. I didn't want to leave you hanging out there without any other topics to discuss. So we squeeze a few more in, and then we want to talk about vote fraud because that really is until we fix the vote fraud problem. This very violates else, rule number one. Not happening. Very little else will make much difference. And uh, so, Rick, is your is your gun range going to get built, dude? Yes, it is. Okay. Come hell or high water, it's going to get built. You have a time frame, you think? Uh, well, we're looking at November 1st, breaking ground. But, you know, there's other stuff that wouldn't be – it wouldn't be fair to blame the town entirely for all the delays. We had an engineer that was, for lack of a better, really lazy. <laughs> you know, he's – let me tell you about his personality. He's a guy that wouldn't say crap if he had a mouthful, okay? Mm -hmm. You know, he always says – He's utilitarian in his speech. He only says what needs to be say, said, and he's a quiet guy. So when I would call him up and ask him what the status was on the on Sorry. the twenty year uh, or the fifty year drainage program, mm -hmm. and he gave me five paragraphs, I knew there was a problem. So um, the engineer, you know, we got our our conditional approval in November of twenty thirteen. Yeah. Oh. Okay. <laughs> He did nothing with the project until March. In other words, he didn't work on. So he any basically of the took off the hockey season. 
and then then got to work after that. Uh, uh, if he follows <laughs> hockey, I'm amazed. But uh, I, I I think he follows badminton. Badminton. But, you know, yeah, yeah. Thank you for saying it correctly. Yes. But, <laughs> badminton with hand grenades. That's what I want to see someday. But um, yeah, basically. Talk about a hot potato. Yeah. Um, I'm just really aggravated, you know. But I mean, uh, we had. Uh, I was sharing with you during one of the break. We ha- I had a little Second Amendment defense of my own last weekend. I don't know. You probably didn't hear about it, Skip. No. At, at 3:50 a.m. last Sunday morning. I was a sound, fast asleep in my bed when my doorbell started Somebody's ringing. Somebody's calling. Oh, somebody is? Mm-hmm. Oh. I wasn't kidding. Oh, wow. Who's Maybe on the line? Maybe it's Susan. Somebody was calling. Susan. Oh, yeah, so somebody came to your door. Yes, uh, this individual in a black hoodie at 3.50 oh. a.m. We're not even on. Came to oh, yeah. plug, plug us in. Oh. We probably missed him. You missed it. Darn it. Call back. Call back, my friend. We had a technical problem. There was an unplugged cord. So, intruder. So, intruder alert. Intruder so alert. He's, he's my, 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 my daughter's upset. My wife is upset. And this guy's running around my house wearing a black hoodie, mind you. You know, think about the, the home invasions they've had in Manchester. And Want to keep up the stereotype. People wearing uh, hoodies. You know? <laughs> Hello. So, to make a long story short, a guy was at my door. He wouldn't tell me why he was there. So I stuck a forty-five caliber pistol in his not, face not and told him to back up. I'll have Steve turn you on. And that's where he stood like a statue till the Manchester police arrived Rick, uh, Rick and straightened him out. How long did that take? Oh, well, they were there so, fast. Because remember, my wife is on 911 telling the police my yeah, husband's got him at gunpoint. Yeah, why don't you say gun so to they, show up? They got there, like, really fast, and they were decent about it, too. So if you just called and called him and said gun, they'd show up. Hi, who's on the phone? It's something. Susan. Hi, Susan. Hi, Susan. How are you? How are you? Good. 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 Good to have you on. What's up? Well, I'm down here at the Manchester Gun Show with the Women's Defense League. And uh, we're trying to explain group therapy. <laughs> as we know it. So and, uh, Hold on. You said group therapy. Will I see you this afternoon? Beg your pardon? You said group therapy. Will I see you this afternoon out at the range? Ah, well, not this afternoon because I've put duty all day. Oh, that's a bummer. Uh, well, it, it is, but it's kind of fun because uh, we have some really wonderful uh, milk chocolate-shaped semi-automatic um, treats. So I can I can stand here and and look at men and eat chocolate. I mean, what more could an old lady want? <laughs> Susan, is it crowded? Um, you know, it's, 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 it's funny you ask that question. Uh, the show this year is two weeks earlier than she has normally held. And there aren't as many guns here as usual. Oh, because every, so, every year people uh, go annually to certain events in their season, so I imagine that would uh, mess up some of the people who would show up with uh, stuff for sale. Well, yeah, and um, I mean, the walkthrough crowd's pretty good. But um, in terms of vintage, although this year this is so cool, there's a guy right across from the women's defense on the table that's doing body armor. I've never seen that in Body armor, cool. And, yeah, and in the upcoming election, um, you know, who knows? But what, what's kind of very cool is uh, uh, we've got an amazing number uh, of women who <laughs> Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Well, Susan, this is Skip, and I have put up the Women's Defense League uh, website on the uh, live stream. We have a, a, a new feature. Well, actually, a feature I used to have when we did this from Liberty Studios in Guilford. So we can do websites, and you, you folks are there. And, uh, yeah, I think that this is a great thing. Explain what this group does. Well, um, it's, it's a relatively new organization, but the group of women who are involved have been involved in firearm safety and training in New Hampshire for many, many years. And then the defense team of New Hampshire is a New Hampshire-based active women's organization, and our mission is to educate and train women uh, in self-defense, primarily firearms, 
Uh, but we do other types of trauma situations, awareness, um, safety in the home thing. Um, we have um, open invitation shoots twice a month uh, at an outdoor range and an indoor range. And among the, the officers at Women's Defense, we have probably a half a dozen um, women who are NRA certified instructors. And one of them is a rifle instructor. Kind of we have certified range safety officers. So either as an organization or individually, we train an awful lot of women um, in, uh, in, in guns. And now we're doing training in life. And it becomes a uh, gun show we hang out. Sounds cool. I wish I had known earlier. I uh, didn't find out about it till last night. It's a little late for, for me to be running down. Uh, but, uh, yeah. Well, Everybody. Can I ask anybody's question, anybody's touch, call in there is no 22. I'm sorry, say again? There is no 22 long rifle here. No 22 long rifles? Oh, drat. Yeah, and I mean, one of those Is that what you're looking for? And early and and I had a request to see if I could locate a couple of bricks of twenty two and there's none to be found. Is there much ammo there at all? Oh there's plenty of ammo. Just not twenty two. Just not twenty two, yeah. Well. That's the only thing that's wrong. God bless America, huh? <laughs> God bless America is right. Yeah. So uh, she blocks here, the Ruger guys are here, um, some salads here, um, the body armor guys, as I mentioned, lots, a couple of ammo manufacturers, some folks out of Vermont called Appalachian for years, and, uh, and, and they've been discussed, they started producing rifle ammo for the first time. Susan, we gotta go. We reached a heartbreak. All right. Thank you so much for calling us, uh, Manchester Gun Show. Get your butt down there. Uh, see you later, Susan. We uh, go. Just go. <laughs> Just go there. Um, all right. Uh, that's the end of segment three. We're coming back in segment four. We're going to talk about things called things like domicile, um, residency, um, and voting because that's important. We will be right back. Hampshire is famous for scenic drives, but they're tough to enjoy when you're on your way to the doctor. Because Obamacare limits your choices, some will have to drive more than an hour to see a doctor. What's health insurance worth if care isn't there when you need it? Jean Shaheen voted for Obamacare, putting your doctors and hospitals further out of reach. Tell Senator Shaheen, Obamacare is not working for New Hampshire. She tried to make us believe she was a fiscal conservative, but State Senator Nancy Stiles has been deceiving New Hampshire taxpayers. Like a wolf in sheep's clothing, she claimed to be one of us, pretending to blend in, but all along voting like a liberal Democrat. She voted to raise your gas tax by another 23%, taking a bigger bite out of our wallets every time we're at the pump. And oh, how she drooled at the opportunity to vote to expand Obamacare, which will result in higher taxes and longer wait times in the emergency room. And now the Senate wants to pass a bill to prevent us from criticizing Senator Stiles' vote. Call Senator Stiles at 603-918-0553 and tell her that we're on to her wolf and sheep's clothing routine. <laughs> tell her to stop pretending to be a fiscal conservative and start voting like one. Paid for by Citizens for a Strong New Hampshire. 
It's the Coalition of New Hampshire Taxpayers. We're located at 8 North Main in Concord, New Hampshire. This is a repository for all things conservative and municipal. So if you have a problem in your town, your school, your budget committee, the right to know law, and now at the top of our list is voter fraud. you have a tip for us, some information for us, you want to join or help us out, cnht.org. 